Okay, so let's see this problem, corporate flight booking, lead code 1109. Um, in this, we are given N flights that are labeled from 1 to N. And you are given area of flight booking, uh, which is first, last, and seat. So this represents that booking for a flight, first I to last I, with the seats reserved for each flight in the range. So return the answer array of length n where answer i is the total number of seats reserved for flight i. Okay, so basically uh, let's see this test case. Booking array is equal to this. It means that your flight 1 and 2 have 10 passengers. So if I say this is flight, the total there are 5 flights. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this has 10 and this also has 10. And uh, what does the second booking say that 2 and 3 has 20. So I can write it in the next lines 20 and 20. For 2 to 5 we have 25. Which means like in the next line we can write something like this. So these are the corresponding uh, seats for uh, all the flights. What you want to return is the total number of of seats reserved for a flight i so for flight one we have only like then you have to just take total of all so it's 10 for this and 10 plus 20 plus 25 for this which is uh, what 55 i think well, it's 45 and for this it's 25 and so on yeah 25 again so that is the array which you have to return so yeah at last you have to return answer array which is of same length n and uh, yeah answer i is equal to total number of seats reserved for a particular flight now how to do this basically you have got the idea that okay you have to uh, kind of do update operation on a particular range so this range will be one to two this if this is a range what you have to do you have to increment the value of these range by 10. so every element in this range will be incremented by 10. similarly two to three uh, there are two elements they will be incremented by 20 right whatever the current value is for example current value for 2 is 10 but for 3 there is nothing right so it's a 0 for that but then when you increment it uh, you'll have some new value for all the index and then similarly 2 to 5 you will have to increment this particular range by 25 so it's not a point updation it's a range updation these kind of queries can be handled by uh, standardly it is handled by uh, something like segment trees but this can also be done because it's a it's uh, quite straightforward so we, we can skip the segmentary and what we can do we can do something like combination of sweep line and uh, uh, prefix sum technique right so if you know prefix sum uh, that is something like uh, the sum of the all the elements starting from the leftmost point till the current point right so pf of i uh, we write it as a0 plus a1 till a of i so this is the prefix sum for i now what i want is that uh, if you see this is just a prefix sum kind of thing what is this like uh, what is the sum till here like 10 plus um, like this 10 um, is carried over for a part it's not a point uh, it's not a point updation it's a range updation so it is carried over till let's say two indexes for 1 and 2 this 25 is carried over till 4 indexes right so this sum which this value 25 is being added not only in 2 in 3 4 5 as well so so this is can be handled using a sweep line algorithm how we handle that so for example if we have to do a range updation from l to r and increment all the values by plus x what we do we increment uh, l by plus x and then what we do we decrement r plus 1 index by x amount so it will be like minus x for that so when we do this um, now let us see what will be happening so i'm saying uh, for 1 to 2 what i'll be doing that at index 1 you know i will write plus 10 and index uh, 3 right i would be writing something like minus 10 similarly for the second query so this is just a first query and if you see uh, all the three queries will be very similar to this only that uh, you have from 2 to 3 you are adding plus 20 
and on 4 you will be uh, decrementing minus 20 because it's kind of thing that you have to um, you have to you have to uh, this uh, the effect of plus 20 you have to uh, distribute to the two indexes 2 and 3 and you have to kind of spread this 20 over a particular range then you have to stop spreading it so for example after this it will not spread uh, so for that what we do we do something like minus 20 at this particular point and uh, um, yeah now you don't need to increment at every particular point what you do it's simply like you do at the starting point you do plus 10 and after one index after ending point you do minus 10 so that the effect gets cancelled out for the next remaining elements so th this plus 10 effect is till this point 1 and 2 and then when minus 10 occurs the effects gets nullified and same, same for 4 and 5 right so similarly in this you add effect of plus 20 and then you uh, reduce the effect uh, by minus 20 so that this effect is only carried over till this two indexes 2 and 3 and at 4 it is nullified right so similarly for this 25 you add plus 25 over here and uh, you have to decrement minus 25 something uh, which is not in the array so you don't do it like you don't need to decrement it uh, so you just uh, skip it right and this is all the updations that you need to do so if you see uh, we have uh, reduced the number of uh, the number of additions at a particular point we had to do so previously the algorithm was something like n square algorithm that you have for each particular range you have to go over each element of that range and do plus something right you have to add a particular value but now you don't go at each particular range for example if range is 2 to 5 you don't go for 2 3 4 and 5 you just go for 2 and you just go for something like 6 which uh, may be present or may not be present right now when this thing happens so you are not going for each element in the range when even you go for each element in the range that is order of n operation in itself and there are total n number of bookings so that becomes n into n n square but now for each booking you are at most doing two operations right that's it so 2 into n that's linear and uh, that's how we reduce the time complexity for uh, polynomial to linear so and after this how does it help like this plus 10 minus 10 uh, now you do prefix sum on this array so plus 10 and uh, plus 20 and plus 25 so basically this will be 10 plus 20 plus 25 55 again and then you will be decrementing minus 10 from this so it will become 45 again now you decrement minus 20 from this 45 it will become 25 and then you don't have to do anything no addition no decrement so keep the value same right so this is what sweep line and this is the prefix something so you started off with 10 10 plus 20 plus 25 55 minus 10 45 minus 20 25 and yeah 25 again so let's implement now first of all i will have a let's say sweep line array and uh, it would be of same size n and uh, yeah like initialize you can initialize it with the zero i think so you can fill uh, this array with uh, zero now what we do that we go for each booking for auto i in bookings what we see that okay uh, my starting point is equal to i of 0 right my ending point is equal to i of 1 plus 1 right this is when we have to nullify the effect and what i do a uh, sweep line of starting point plus equal to the value okay what is the value is equal to stored in the third uh, element which is i of 2 so plus val and uh, sweep line of end uh, minus val now this will be only done if end is less than n right so let me write it like that if uh, your ending point is valid then you have sweep line of minus n, right now you have to create a prefix sum array that would be of same size of n and uh, prefix sum of um, 0 would be equal to the sweep line 0 now you have to basically this is just a technique to create a prefix sum of any array so your current array is sweep line which you have to find a prefix sum for so for int i is equal to 1 till 
size less than sweep line dot size and uh, you have to say that prefix sum of i is equal to prefix sum of i minus 1 plus the sweep line at a particular point sweep line value at a particular point so it can be zero it can be something positive it can be something negative based on that we change and at last you have to return your prefix sum so you have to return a vector so instead of creating array you can create a vector or you can uh, yeah you can convert it back to vector uh, if you want to do it in array like both are same i think though there's no yeah uh now let me comment this out and let's submit it i think it should run we have sweep line we have booking sweep line dot size and, and i think we should pass this as a, a like integer oh sorry so sweep line size would be of n only like because it's an array we cannot do something dot size operation okay now what is the issue um, why it is a shifted let me see okay it is shifted because this first flight but index is zero so we know that we work with zero indexing so let me do minus one and uh, yeah now it should be fine okay let us uh, submit this now okay accepted and uh, yeah so this is the approach for doing this question like corporate flight booking the main observation was that you should know about this sweep line algorithm like why we are using it first of all because otherwise the time complexity would be order of n square right uh, and uh, to make it linear we can use sweep line algorithm and then if you have done sweep line then you have to take prefix sum to get the answer right so this is the thing otherwise uh, you can try the brute force approach as well which is very straightforward i'm not like coding it up but you know like what to do in that uh, treat this as indexes 1 2 will be converted to indexing it will be 0 to 1 right and uh, for each of the index in that range you go over each index and then increment that value by by the value given over here like 10 20 whatever and then you get the resultant array that is very straightforward right that's just two line code but uh, but the time complexity is uh, in worst case it will be yeah order of n square and uh, it's 2 raised per 2 into 10 raised per 4 that order of n square can work but it's better if we know the linear algorithm right okay thank you bye